So, what I did yesterday is I upgraded my off-grid battery charger. I've also shown another video where I use this as a welder from this is what I upgraded it from. This is an SI10 Delco and Delco Remy and it is rated at 63 amps and I have, I mean I've been using this same alternator for a very long time and I did manage to burn out the rectifier block on one occasion because I was using my forge blower for an extended period of time. It took many hours but I did manage to burn out a rectifier, rectifier block in that. Um, so I was at a, I guess it was like a bankruptcy sale, anyway, um, going at a business sale or something. I was there and I managed to pick up an SI15 for 50 bucks and I thought that was a great deal. It is remanufactured but uh, picked up for 50 bucks what would normally cost me 200. So I thought it was ideal time to upgrade my setup here. And um, <clears throat> the basic you know, size between the SI10 and SI15 is about the same. And so that just slotted straight back in there. Um, only thing I had to do was put a longer bolt on this um, tensioner up here. Now, at the same time I was doing that, I thought it was also time to upgrade from... Now these are, I'm not sure if it's a pot metal or an aluminium, but basically lightweight, cheap pulley systems. I'm sure they're made in China. Um, and I upgraded that at the same time because I just keep on breaking them. You can see that one's got a bit of a crack. Actually, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got a crack in it there. This other one totally wallowed out. So I replaced them with a solid steel cast pulley. And so I, I'm expecting a lot more life out of that. And, <clears throat> and that's, yeah, pretty much it. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. The SI15 um, has a rating of 105 amps, so that's quite a bit more um, you know, power amperage. So I, uh, I shouldn't be burning it out anytime soon. Uh, the only thing... Pin number two on this, uh, these pins are on the back where this wire is plugged in, has to go to power to make this work, and that's the voltage sensing wire. I'll pull that around so you can see it. So yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> so you got pin one, pin two, and then over in the back there, you got pin R, which is apparently for some sort of um, lower voltage relay setup. But uh, pin one is supposed to be for your um, alternator light that you would have normally have on a dashboard, and pin two is the voltage sensing. Um, and this did not, this did not run until I hooked up the voltage sensing. That is something handy to know. <coughs> um, only other thing I should probably point out when you, if you were going to do this, is I've been running these things backwards. They're supposed to, um, rotate in a clockwise direction. And I've always been running them anti-clockwise, and I don't think it makes any difference. They they seem to work just fine, um, but that could be why maybe I wasn't getting enough airflow through. That could be why I burned out the um, the rectifier block too. But 
seems to, for the most part, working just fine for me. <coughs> um, this whole setup, you know, this generator, I've done a couple of videos on this before, but I, I just can't say enough good stuff. Anybody that wants a backup generator or some way to charge batteries off grid, this is, I believe, the best way to do it. Um, yeah, it's inexpensive. One part of it goes down, I can replace it, and um, yeah, way better than buying those um, you know, $500 emergency generators. Um, they just don't last. So. Anywho.